treatment of megaloblastic anemia by uh, folic acid and B12 according to the deficiency. If it is a folic acid deficiency, we will give the patient folic acid. If it is B12 deficiency, we will give him B12. Uh, uh, now we have to differentiate uh, the uh, megaloblastic uh, macrocytosis from non-megaloblastic macrocytosis. Uh, we have uh, different causes for macrocytic red blood cells, large red blood cells, but non megaloblastic so it's not uh, due to P12 or folic acid. Uh, macrocytosis, large red blood cells, we can uh, see large red blood cells in normal pregnancy and in normal neonates. Also, we can see large red blood cells in two types of anemia, aplastic anemia and hemolytic anemia, and in some liver diseases, chronic liver diseases and chronic alcoholism. Uh, in the chronic lung diseases or chronic obstructive airway diseases, in the thyroid deficiency, uh, mixed edema, and the myelodysplastic syndrome, or pre leukemic condition, and some malignancies, uh, and during treatment of malignancy by chemotherapy or cytotoxic drugs. Uh, this table uh, will uh, present the uh, main features to differentiate between uh, microplastic and non microplastic macrocytos. As we mentioned, microplastic D2, P12, uh, and folic acid deficiency, and in the peripheral part, you can see pancytopenia of a macrocyte uh, and hypersegmented trophil in the bone marrow. We will see megaloplast and the clinic will uh, find neurological manifestations in, in the patient. While in non megaloplastic, non megaloplastic, uh, uh, no P12 or, or P12 or folic acid deficiency uh, in the peripheral blood. Only anemia, it's not no pancytopenia, no pancytopenia. In the uh, peripheral, but also we will see round macro round macrocyte. Here is round macrocyte, round macrocyte in comparison to the oval macrocytes in the megaloplastic. Bone marrow is normal plastic. We will not see megaloplast in the uh, bone marrow. And the clinical manifestations, uh, we will not uh, find the neurological uh, symptoms or signs of the uh, megaloplastic anemia.